the Philadelphia Phillies, who last year captured the National League Baseball title under the guidance of manager Eddie Sawyer, are training for another championship battle. The coaching staff plans to build another winning combination around such stars as Robin Roberts, who in 1950 pitched 20 winners and carried them into the 1950 World Series against the American League's New York Yankees. What's going on everybody? Alex here with a new acquisition. Just came in the mail today. Um, have not been making any purchases of late. Really, it's been several months since the last one. Trying to uh, be cautious, but uh, was happy with this deal. Decided to, to pull the trigger on it. It's an autographed baseball by Hall of Fame pitcher and Phillies great Robin Roberts. And so that really kind of satisfies uh, two areas of my autographed baseball collection. One is Phillies players. The other is um, pitchers, whether they're Hall of Fame pitchers or just pitchers that I respect and admire. So let's take a closer look. Um, as you can see, he signed it with his full name. So it's Robin Evan Roberts. And um, you know, in terms of the things that I'm looking for when I'm purchasing a, uh, an autographed baseball, ideally I'm gonna get a baseball that was signed by the player during his playing days. For whatever reason, I wasn't really finding many single signed Roberts balls that uh, were signed during his playing days. Um, I'm not saying they're not out there, but, uh, but I wasn't able to come across them. So if I'm not gonna get uh, a playing days ball, the other thing I look for are just unique inscriptions, whether it's like uh, a stat or some other accomplishment from the career or just something else like a nickname. So what's unique about this one obviously is that he signed it with his full name. Um, there's a lot of uh, Robin Roberts baseballs out there in terms of eBay, but not a lot of them with his full name. So I found that was unique enough and I liked the look of it that, uh, that this was worth going for. So you can see this is um, a William White uh, National League ball, which I think is like late 80s, early 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see it's authenticated by PSA DNA. So um, this is a obviously a big Phillies um, name, one of their few players that has their number retired. And uh, it's taken me this long to add him to the collection, so I'm definitely excited that uh, he's now going to join some other Phillies greats and some other pitchers from uh, throughout the history of baseball. So we'll go ahead and cut away from this and add him to the collection. Okay, so he's actually going to go in the top left-hand corner. He's going to go right next to Jim Bunning's Perfect Game and uh, the Steve Carlton autograph. So right where he belongs. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hope everybody's uh, doing well and staying safe. And I will talk to you all soon.